I'm gonna show you the right way to model cars using blueprints. This makes it super easy to model cars and you're probably gonna use this technique to model every part of a car exterior. We have a blueprint at the bottom and we have a blueprint in the back. I just got this BMW blueprint. It doesn't matter what you use, just use something. Now I'm gonna start with top view and I'm gonna demonstrate this trick by creating the hood. That makes it nice and simple, right? Everybody can do this for practice. Now in object mode, go to shift A and add a lattice. This is going to create an empty cube, but if you go over here to this object's properties, you can increase the the resolution of this cube. Now you have to use an odd number to set the resolution. I'm going to go with 11 on all three of the dimensions. This is going to subdivide this empty cube. And if we look at this from the top view, we just get a grid. We're going to use this grid so we can follow it as we're making the blueprint. It's just going to make things easier and more organized. Now scale this thing up so it's a little bit bigger than the hood itself. And now we're going to use this basically the same way that you use a grid for sketching. Have you ever seen somebody sketching something? First they make a grid and then they sketch tile by tile. Essentially, we're going to do the same thing. It's like a cheat code and in painting, if you do this or in sketching, if you do this in real life, they're gonna call you a fucking loser, but it doesn't matter because this is Blender. So here's what you do next. Add a cube, go to edit mode, press X and collapse edges and faces. This is gonna turn the cube into just one vertex. Now place this vertex in a starting position. I'm gonna start at the top here and we're going to extrude this part by part and every time we extrude it, we're gonna make it so it meets one part of this grid, right? We're gonna use the grid as a resolution to control where we're going to place our vertices. Then there's gonna be some parts which aren't placed on any of the lines, so you can just place it somewhere in the middle. That part doesn't matter too much. And just keep extruding this along two of the edges on the hood. So right now we have the front part and we have the right side. The reason we're making only one half is because we're gonna use a mirror modifier. Now we're not going to do the part behind the window shield yet because that's gonna make shit a little bit more difficult we're gonna get to that later for now we have to align these vertices with the right height so first we're gonna select the vertices in the front and we're gonna go to front view and we're going to align those with the blueprint from the front we only have to move them up or down on the z-axis since we're only aligning them from this perspective then the remaining vertices are the side of the hood so again we have to align those with the right part of the blueprint by just moving them up and down the z-axis eventually you're gonna get to the top of the hood at which point you can't really see what's going on because this is somewhere behind the hood there's maybe something covered up which you can't see from front view just give it a guess it doesn't matter too much and this gives us a nice side profile and a front profile so here's what you do next this is the most important part now we can get rid of this grid or you can just put it aside somewhere or just press h so it's not visible maybe maybe you can use it later now we need to create the back part and the inner part but it's very important that we use the same number of vertices on both sides and the same number of vertices in the front and the back it's very important i'm going to show you why so to make sure that we have the same number of vertices Place your 3D cursor over here in the middle on the starting vertex, select this entire segment, except the last vertex, then duplicate this, set your pivot point to 3D cursor and scale this to zero on the Y axis. Now, once we fill this, we're gonna have the exact same number of edges. We just have to do a little bit of remodeling on this shape. For example, we might have to scale it down on the Z axis or scale it up this way to make this approximately line a little bit better. We can also look at it from front view to make sure we have the right height on this. So I'll place my 3D cursor somewhere over here. I'll select this loop and I'll scale it up on the Z axis so it meets the right height in the middle of the hood. Now we can just fill this in and we're going to go to top view and also correct this from the top view. Now in the front, we have one, two, three, four edges or one, two, three vertices, all right? So we can do three more vertices to connect this. We're gonna do one, two, three, and then we're going to connect this. I know it's a little bit chunky right now. Don't worry, we're obviously gonna use a subdivision surface modifier for this. Now we still have to align this from the front view a little bit better. And once we do that, we have a perfect outline for one side of the hood. This is where things get fucking crazy. Here's the easiest way to fill this in. We have one, two, three, four edges right here, okay? And also four in the front. So we're gonna select this entire loop. We're gonna go to face, grid fill, and set your span value to either the number of edges that you have on one side or the other side. Over here, it looks like we have 10, so 10 is going to do it, but we can also use four, and then we just have to adjust the offsets to make sure that everything is matching perfectly. Sometimes Blender is gonna guess it right, right off the bat. Sometimes you're gonna have to play around with the numbers. It depends on the situation, but just make sure that the span value is either the number of edges you have on this side or on this side. And that's why it's super important that you have the same number of edges on opposite sides. Now Blender perfectly filled this in for us and all we have to do now is either use a mirror modifier or just copy this to the other side and apply some subdivision surface. And we have a perfect rough shape for the hood of a car. You can do this in only a couple of minutes. If you wanna learn more about crazy tricks like this in Blender, I'm making an ebook where I'm gonna put everything that I know about this type of stuff. You can pre-order that, I'll put the link in the description. We're also doing a full supercar course on my Patreon, so go check that out as well. Let me know what you want to see next and I'll see you in the next one.